What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Certainly not. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whomever I will have compassion. So then it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but of God who shows mercy. When you read verse 14, you can hear what the Jewish objector would be thinking. That's not fair to give salvation to someone solely by grace and not works and to anyone who isn't a child of Abraham. That's not fair. Is there an injustice with God? But God graciously chooses to show mercy on those who humble themselves by trusting in the Messiah, Jesus. God is just and fair to do so, and it fulfills his promise to be a blessing to all the nations of the earth, Gentiles included. And in verse 15, Paul introduces another familiar Old Testament character, Moses. Moses put up with the rebellious heart in Israel for 40 years, and they all died in unbelief, never receiving the promised land. But God showed mercy to Joshua, Caleb, and those 21 years and under who had humbled themselves and trusted God, and through their faith, they received the promised land. It's very clear God shows mercy to the individuals who humble themselves and trust in Christ. Paul explains in verse 16 that it is referring to God's choice to bring about God's promise, even through hardened Jews doesn't depend on ethnicity or works of the law, but on God's gracious prerogative. God shows mercy to some Jews and he hardens other Jews. And the mercying and the hardening is all based on the response of the person. And in the same way, God's promise came about by grace through faith, by way of God's sovereign choice of his chosen messengers, not based on the morality, but based on grace, God's undeserving favor, to be a blessing to all the nations which means the promise is for everyone. God's promise being fulfilled has never depended on the faithfulness of his messengers, which is the man who wills or the man who runs, right? But on the faithfulness of God, the one who has mercy. God has ways of making sure his promise is fulfilled even through his chosen messengers who are unfaithful at times and will even use external means, not internal, but external means, to make sure and ensure the promise is fulfilled, i.e. Jonah had a huge fish that woke him up and got his attention and got him to obey God's promise. And even Paul, who was Saul, got knocked off his high horse on the road to Damascus and a blinding light blinded him and that external means was used as a means to humble him, to stop him dead in his tracks. And for God to bring about Ananias to preach the gospel to Saul. And then he responded in faith to Christ. And he was saved. And God made Paul a chosen messenger to bring about his message to fulfill God's promise through Israel. And Paul obviously is a Jew.